I really never thought about designing a bag for myself. I'm just a bag geek. I love gear. But there I was, you know, drawing pictures. I can't draw. Picking out fabric swatches and looking at different designs to try to come up with the best EDC bag for me. All right, I did it. I went out and I made myself a custom bag thanks to Azos equipment out there in the UK. The UK is far out there in the UK. So I just wanna to talk to you guys about the bag. These are like my first impressions of the bag. I haven't really put it through its paces yet, but I wanna show you the bag and talk about the process of customizing a bag with them. And it's kind of a daunting task. When you think about, you know, I reviewed hundreds of bags and I'm like, man, I know exactly what I want. But when you're actually confronted with the options and everything that you can change, yeah, it can be a little overwhelming. This is the bag right here that I chose to design and create. This is their Dijon, I hope, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, Dijon bag. And you know, I used their kind of base model and then I kind of made it my own, with my own fabrics and everything. Let me show you kind of what <laughs> all goes on. Okay, so I chose the base model off of their website, right? Then from there, they send you a whole bunch of samples, man. They give you so many options. I got about every color nylon, the Cordura nylon that you can get. And then they also give you wax canvas. Yeah, I got wax canvas samples here. And then you got dry wax canvas and then you got the, the the actual I guess is wet 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 wax canvas so the actual wax canvas that has the wax on it so you got those options so I'm talking about mm, I'm looking at about I don't know a hundred different types of fabrics that you can use for the exterior in combination like if you want to use one for the front and one from the side you got that option so it can get really little, you know, overwhelming. Let me keep on using that word, overwhelming. Then you have options for the interior as well. So you have different uh, denier weights of the interior fabric that you can use. And, you know, I selected what I wanted. They send you, they sent, I mean, they sent me so many samples. So then they send you samples like this one with different, this is a, has different nylons on it as well with different interiors that you can use, different colors, man overwhelming right so it took me a while it took me a while to kind of to like narrow down what I wanted in a bag but I thought the Dijon was the best platform for me to create the best EDC bag for myself I'm not gonna say it's the best EDC bag ever but for myself what I wanted to see in the bag so what I chose to use on the front right here this is VX 42 right here so that lighter weight material and then on the side of the bag I went with a ballistic nylon so this is a, a 840d ballistic nylon so the, I was thinking to cut down on the weight of that you know 1680d ballistic nylon it would be a really heavy bag so i went with something a little lighter but it still gives you that abrasion resistance still gives you some water resistance on the bag i'm gonna walk through the bag and talk about it you know as as we go through it and like i said the base is their dijen but usually on the dijen the regular one it has like a horizontal pocket in the front i wanted mine to be more of like the uh, Recycle Firefighter Battalion. So I, I did draw on other bags and like features that I saw that I liked about certain bags. I put it in this one, right? So I got uh, YKK number 10 zippers on the exterior of the bag. These are Ultrax zippers, so they make the bag. The, the zippers actually are flat. They're not the shiny Aqua Guard zippers. So the dimensions, let me talk about the dimensions really quickly. It's 18 inches tall, it's 11 inches wide, and it's six inches deep, giving you 25 liters of space inside of this bag. 25 liters for my everyday carry is perfect. Perfect, enough to carry my work stuff, my camera equipment if I need it, 
all of that stuff can fit in this bag. So cool. So in the front, this is like the main, I guess the organizational section, really, really simple. I went for the interior, I'm gonna blow your eyes out. You guys always talk, hear me talking about, I love high-vis lining. Yeah, this is a Gore-Tex material inside of this bag. And so it's bright as hell. I don't even know if the camera's doing it justice right now. But what I did was I set it up with three simple pockets, just like the Recycle Firefighter Battalion, where the pocket line actually runs along the zipper line right here. This took work. You know, I actually had to explain to Azos Equipment exactly what I wanted. I talked about the measurements. All of that detail goes inside of creating or customizing your own personal bag. So I kind of measured it out, what I wanted to, it to look like, the interior, how the stitching I wanted to look like, the size of the pockets themselves, how I wanted the pockets line on the top. All of that detail came came from me and they came through with, a, with exactly what I asked for. That's exactly what they, I got exactly what I asked for in this bag. The quality of, of what they do over Azos is, um, great excellent um spectacular I, I would put this bag far as the quality of the work up there with some of the best bags out there mystery ranch go ruck um uh alchemy equipment i mean ever goods the quality of the stitching the materials that they use and how they put it together excellent i mean you really can't go wrong so this this pocket has got space in it just like the recycle firefighter battalion i can put items in here if i wanted to and you know ykk um ultra zippers you can't go wrong with i chose to put black paracord on the zippers really simple you know really simple exterior i wanted something like understated right so on the top well let me go to the bottom on the bottom we'd still have that 840d ballistic nylon right all oh, going all the way around the sides so on the top i wanted a quick access pocket right so this this quick access pocket is wider than the normal ones that you know you usually see in bags this one is like, I want to say I asked it to be like nine or 10 inches. So this is enough space with no problem. I could put my cell phone, wallet, keys in, maybe two cell phones, because I do carry two cell phones. So I wanted that up there. I did put, you know, zipper garages up here. Number, this is a number eight YKK zipper with the Alltrax mat, right? So inside of here, it's a uh, fleece line nice little you know soft touch material i didn't want anything to scratch my phone or anything like that so definitely good there as far as the space i loved i wanted something with some deep space in it for as for as a top quick access pocket behind that i asked for the black leather uh asos equipment grab handle on the top if you guys aren't familiar this is probably one of the best features that i like on the bag is this grab handle it's really comfortable you know over time the leather is just going to break down and be super supple yes um so that's kind of that and then what else do we have on the exterior of the bag so on the side right here i wanted a laptop compartment and i think i drew from like evergoods um and their laptop compartment for this it's a side access it's in front of the, the the shoulder straps so you don't have to mess with the shoulder straps like um like a, a go rug gr1 you kind of gotta manipulate the shoulder straps to get to the laptop compartment i want it to be really quick access in and out so in there it's lined with that same gore-tex material in the laptop sleeve it's suspended on all sides like uh, yeah, I copied Evergoods. Evergoods, I copied you. I like the design of that. So <laughs> it's it's suspended from the top, it's suspended on the bottom, it's suspended on the sides, and it also has like a little Velcro closure. Yeah, everything about this is a copy, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, you draw from things that work, you know what I mean? Like, I'm making this bag for me, I'm not selling it. So, you know, in mass production, I, I drew from bags that I knew that the, the that design worked. So, the number eight YKK Alltrek zippers on the side right here, keep the water out with the nice little um, zipper garage, no problem back to the back of this bag so i asked for the the u-shaped style um 
harness system right here. The cushioning, the width of the shoulder straps, the ergonomics of the shoulder straps is awesome. I got no complaints about that. I've used the bag a couple of times. I do have low lifters here on the bag. Um, they have some strap keepers to kind of keep those straps out of the way. The, like I said, the, the, the shoulder straps themselves, it was important for me to have really comfortable shoulder straps on the bag. I do have a sternum strap. I asked them to add it in. Even though in most of the videos that you probably watch, I'm telling you, I don't use a sternum strap. This is removable. I saw if I don't need it, I take it off. If I'm carrying a heavy load, once every once in a while I might need it, I'll put them back on. Um, on the back, of the shoulder straps, I actually, this, this is Tweevil, I think, the, <laughs> Tweevil. So it's it's a, more like elastic E material, elastic E material, and it's, it's soft to the touch. So, you know, it's not, it doesn't have a lot of breathability, but it has a lot of comfort. And so that's, that's this is like more of like a city bag to me. They have bags that are like more mountaineering and, you know, you're going hiking. I wasn't looking for that. You know, I have bags that do those type of things. I was looking for more of a everyday carry bag is my passion. Um, the, the way that the back panel is constructed, you can ask for different kinds of configurations for the back panel as well. So I asked for the three separate sections with the mesh, raised mesh here, nice quality mesh that they use. And then this is, you know, a continuation of that VX material here in the back because you can specify, hey, I want to continue on the 840 on the back or you want the VX on the back or whatever materials out of the <laughs> hundreds, the hundreds that they offer you, you can actually pick and put them wherever you want. So that's, that's kind of the back panel, nice curvature to the back panel. Check it out. So nice natural curve. They built in that already into the bag, the Dijin already came with that natural curve. So I didn't ask for that. They just, you know, gave it to me. So inside, let's go to the main section. The main section is just, it's like a massive, it's a massive, <laughs> what, else, what else could it be but a clamshell opening? You know it's gotta be a clamshell opening. So we, we get full on access. So over here, is like the main storage area. I didn't want too much stuff to be in my way. And I'll tell you why. So I take this, this is the uh, Timber Tools uh, BYOB backpack. This is what I carry, my camera, my uh, EOS R, and two lenses, two L series lenses go into this right here. So this is gonna take up a lot of space. So I didn't want a lot of, you know, smaller compartments over here on this side because I knew once I was rocking this in here that I would only have so much space. This is enough to keep like maybe my lunch in, a jacket, a couple of my EDC items on the top. But when I'm when I'm with my camera, I already know in most EDC packs, this is not all, but mostly all I'm gonna carry. In here, I just put a simple slip pocket at the top here. You can see they put a nice little leather uh, ASOS equipment tag, continuing on with the leather from the grab handle. Thought it was a nice touch, but you got no problems trying to see anything in this pack right here. You're gonna be able to see everything, right? So on the uh, the lid, I was tempted to go with like the, the GORUCK style pockets on the lid, but I actually, like I went with two pockets, but I actually changed it up a little bit. The top one, is smaller, but it has some gusset here. So I can put like my quick access items here, you know, and even larger items and it'll fit in this pocket. Inside I put the number eight, um, these are regular number eight zippers on the inside, nice mesh, really heavy duty. And then this one is larger and longer right here and you can access it from the side. So definitely a little different spin on on some bags i think i actually picked that up from azos equipment's uh website i seen another bag that was doing kind of the same thing and i said that's pretty cool idea so i drew from bags that i've touched bags that i saw on their, their instagram and on their facebook but yeah no water bottle pocket <laughs> in this bag i wanted to maintain like a more streamlined look um, you can't add water bottle pockets. You add whatever the hell you want to add because it's your bag, right? But I didn't want the water bottle pockets on the side of the bag just because I thought that um, the water bottle pockets would, would 
distract from the overall shape of the bag. I wanted that shape. I wanted to maintain that kind of that clean look on the bag. So I got a 15 inch laptop sleeve, a quick access pocket, two pockets, or actually three pockets on, on the front lid, and then a, a large main section. That's kind of the bag. That's kind of the bag. The, the base price on this bag is 274. That's just for the regular ASOS equipment bag. Now this one, the way that I have it set up and, and everything, um, it's probably the most expensive bag that I've ever purchased. ASOS didn't give me any type of discounting, any, anything like that. I'm just a customer coming to them saying, hey, I want a bag made. And they were really good. It took a couple of months for them to kind of, for us to go back and forth, emails and all of that stuff and picking materials and talking about suggestions. They were great. They, they, were, they offer great customer service. Um, once the bag came out, it was like in the fours, in the high fours, close to five, you know, so, for the things that I asked for, the things to, you know, kind of change and be modified. And sad thing is I haven't put the bag to the test. After I spent all of that money, I haven't really put the bag to the test quite yet. So, cause I'm constantly reviewing bags and I don't wanna, so that's why I say I'll get on here and show, show the bag off, give you my first kind of imp impressions. I think that, you know, I really was um, not prepared for how, much detail that you would have to put into creating a custom bag for yourself. Um, so I, I gained a new appreciation for all those people that design packs because there's a lot of things that I didn't think about, like um, the way that, how much space is in this bag and the depth of the bag. I, I would have really appreciated that, those um, compression straps to kind of pull the bag in. And I specifically asked them to leave them off but double you know once you get the bag in your hand you're like oh man you know what I, I see why they put those on there so there's an appreciation you know like for 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 bag designers because the, the work is hard to find a product like the bags that sell really really well and everybody enjoys I can see that they went through a really tedious process of, of trying to make decisions on where everything goes. Like, I mean, I'm getting down to, you know, I want the, the opening of this, this pocket right here, one inch or, two, or one and a half inches from the, the exterior of the back. That's like how much detail and precise it has to be. But overall, man, the quality of this bag is amazing. Um, would I put it up against any of the top bags that I have? Sure, sure. I mean, it's it's ridiculous as far as the quality of the bag and the way that they put it together. And, they, and the customer service is excellent. I have no qualms about ASOS. Should, should you go out over there and check out a custom bag? Sure, sure. I mean, just know like the, the intensity of how you're going, you know, <laughs> the email exchanges, how you're going to want certain things. It's a great adventure, a great project to do with them. And you know that whatever you choose is going to come out to be totally quality. Yeah, man. So this is the bag, man. Azos equipment. I think this is the first review of them on YouTube. I mean, I, I think they have another video up on YouTube, but like a full, like, you know, going through what they do. I think this is kind of like the first one, but yeah. Guys, if you like this video, hit, hit the thumbs up button. It gets the video out to more people. And that's what it's all about. Let's share this EDC, goddammit. <laughs> you know? So, um, if you got a question, leave it down there in the, question, the, the comments. I'm always available. Well, I haven't been available recently because I've been fishing. <laughs> I've been all over fishing. But, uh, yeah, you got a question, leave it down there in the comments. If you like this content, man, subscribe to the channel. We do backpack reviews, but I'm going to start showing some other stuff on here, too. So, get ready for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.